Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about Huntington's disease. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So Huntington's disease is also known as Huntington's chorea. It is a neurodegenerative disease that is inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion. That means the gene responsible for Huntington's disease is present in one of the autosomes. And it is a mutation which causes this disease and in order to cause the disease only one mutant allele is enough since it is a dominant mutation. So Huntington's disease or HD appears in a person's 30s or 40s. HD affects 4 to 15 in 1 lakh people of European ancestry. Let's see some causes of Huntington's disease. Mutation in HDT gene causes Huntington's disease. HDT gene is also called the HD gene. The HDT gene is located on the short arm of chromosome number 4 at 4P16.3. This P indicates the short arm. So this is the site of the HDT gene which is the culprit. The HDT gene provides instructions for making a protein called Huntington which plays an important role in nerve cells of brain. Part of this gene has a CAG trinucleotide repeat which varies in length between individuals and may change length between generations. That means you may have 15 repeats, I may have 18. Just like this. And it can be changed in different generations. Like your father may have 16 such repeats and you may have 15. And CAG repeat means uh, it is a chunk of the HDT gene which contains uh, CAG, 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 CAG like that. A mutation may increase the repeat count and result in a defective gene. When the length of this repeated section reaches a certain threshold, it produces an altered form of protein called mutant Huntington protein. Okay, so we will see the number game now. Normally, the CAG segment is repeated 10 to 35 times within the gene. In people with Huntington's disease, the CAG segment is repeated 36 to more than 120 times. People with 36 to 39 CAG repeats may or may not develop the symptoms. But people with 40 or more repeats always develop the disorder. An increase in the size of the CAG segment leads to the production of an abnormally long Huntington protein. The elongated protein is cut into smaller toxic fragments that bind together and accumulate in neurons. It disrupts the function of neurons which eventually causes death of neurons. We will see some symptoms of Huntington's disease. Jerky, random and uncontrollable movement called chorea. Hence this disease is also called Huntington's chorea. Muscle problems such as rigidity or muscle contracture. So muscle contracture means muscle gets tightened and shortened. Impaired posture and balance. Slow eye movement, difficulty with speech or swallowing, cognitive disorders. Cognitive disorders mean uh, different mental problems such as 
they have difficulties in uh, thinking, reasoning, remembering, uh, imagining, learning words or language. Next, feelings of irritability, sadness, social withdrawal, fatigue and loss of energy. Let's see some diagnosis of Huntington's disease. Prenatal testing. So amniocentesis can be uh, performed for an embryo to know about the mutation. Genetic testing. Physical and psychological examination. Medical imaging such as CT scan or MRI scan. Next we will see some treatments of Huntington's disease. So basically there is no cure of this disease. Treatments can relieve some symptoms and improve quality of life. Movement problem is treated with uh, some drugs like tetravenazin. Education and counseling is important. It is actually very important for them since these patients are suicidal sometimes and develop different mental problems. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. If you want to get the PDF notes of this topic, please find the first pinned comment or the description box. Thank you.